A man who can just about touch the rim from his tiptoes, the most dominating figure in the ABA at seven foot two, Kentucky Colonel's Artis Gilmore. Artis Gilmore. One of the biggest stars of the ABA that the NBA gained after the merger. Literally and figuratively. An underrated legend that was a menace at the center position while being humble and quiet. The 70s and early 80s great who opposed his will on the opposing team on both offense and defense. This is what puts Artis Gilmore, in my opinion, in the conversation for the NBA's top 75 list. The A-Train, as he is nicknamed, came to the NBA in 1977 due to the NBA-ABA merger. The city of Chicago were the ones to get to see the big man show his great basketball play and skill in the NBA as he was drafted by the Bulls and played in Chicago after the merger. He was already a dominant and well-known player in the ABA, so it wasn't hard for Gilmore to make an immediate impact as he quickly became a Chicago Bulls legend. While he was in the ABA, many compared him to Wilt Chamberlain for his incredible build and play style. His comparison to Wilt only grew over time and when he got to the league. He was 7'2 and was one of the strongest players ever to play in the NBA, constantly using his size and strength to his advantage. He was a lefty that used his left to the fullest, especially with his post hook shots, which is from some of the best in the NBA. He was a skilled post player that used those same hook shots and dominated in that area. Not only did he dominate in the post, but also in the paint, as when he got the ball under the rim, you better move, otherwise you was getting posterized. The 7-2 lefty was even one of the most efficient players of all time, shooting 59.9% from the field, which is fifth all time in field goal percentage. And he led the league in field goal percentage four times. Artis was also a problem on the glass, grabbing a ton of offensive rebounds, footback layups, and aggressive dunks, as well as snagging every defensive rebound, gaining double digit rebounds for the majority of his career. Since I mentioned it, Gilmore was a beast on the defensive end, swatting everything that came his way. He is currently 25th all time in blocks, proving that he was an elite shot blocker. Gilmore even had some good years after leaving the Bulls in 1982, as he was a member of the San Antonio Spurs, being the second best player behind George Iceman Gervin. The gentle giant, as George Gervin called him, was able to play some winning basketball for the first time in his NBA career. As his first year with them, they went to the Western Conference Finals, and he was a big contributor to that run, averaging 18, 12, and two blocks in the regular season, then upping his blocks to three in the postseason. In the span of 1976 to 1986, Artist averaged 19 points, 11 rebounds, two blocks, and made the All-Star team six times. But the reason why Gilmore might not be seen as a top 75 player in NBA history is that his true prime was in the ABA. And once he got to the NBA, when he was the best player on the Bulls, they were not that good. And I understand both arguments. So much that even I and my co-creator of this channel, Ja, debated about whether artists should even be on the snub 25. We debated so much that he was taken off the list, then added back, making this list more than just 25 players. In the end, we decided to put him back due to what he did in the NBA despite being a dominant player in the ABA for years. He still put up great numbers in the NBA and was an elite player for almost a decade. He battled with the best of the best in the league as well, going up going head to head with guys like MVP and Finals MVP, Bill Walton of the Portland Trailblazers, and of course the legendary Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Even held his own in both those battles as well. And okay, sure, when he was on the Bulls, they didn't win a lot. That was no fault of his. He was the only guy they had, putting up all-star numbers in those six seasons with the Bulls averaging 20 and 10, 11. He was one of the first legends of the Bulls and the best center to ever play for them. In that regard, he deserved to be on the list. All in all, Artis Gilmore should be recognized and respected more. He is the greatest Bulls center in the franchise's history. He had an amazing build and incredible strength that mirrored Wilt Chamberlain. He was a double-double machine that was a problem down low on offense. 
and he was efficient with his scoring as well as an elite shot blocker, putting him all-time best in NBA history for both categories. As I said earlier, Artis Gilmore is deserving to be on our snub 25 list. But after hearing all that, is he deserving to be on the NBA's top 75 list? <laughs>